NSA deletes scores of call records over technical irregularities. Oh, I'm sure. Right after the Rosenstein testimony, there's an NSA error with technical irregu irregularities. While they're pulling all the texts, they're pulling all the data, they're pulling all the emails, you've seen it, they're clearly colluding, they're clearly meddling in the election. Now they're going after the phone calls, Congress wants to hear what they're talking about, and the NSA magically deletes scores of call records. Magically! There is an awakening happening right now. And you can see it in the media where things that were household terms like false flag and globalists and deep state here at InfoWars, here on the Alex Jones Show, are now mega viral, now get covered on a wide spectrum of news. And it's just incredible. I, I, so many people have a different approach than InfoWars. In fact, everyone has a different approach than InfoWars. We're the spearhead. We're the beachhead. We're the front lines. We understand that. What do I mean by that? Well, just look at if you, if, most people can't pay attention to news like I do, but if you watch news trends and media trends, it used to be that even the quote-unquote right-wing media would take at least six months to a year, sometimes two years, to pick up on what InfoWars was talking about. Then President Trump came along and kind of condensed that to like a six-month period. Now it's like down to like three, two months, and now it's even becoming next day. And this is, this is the awakening. This is liberty spreading. This is the message of Alex Jones going mainstream, and they hate it which is just pro-America, real news, real issues, not agenda-driven. And so I listened to Rush Limbaugh talking about Shiva Ayadu Ray yesterday, and I'm like pumping my fist. I'm like, finally, someone else is giving him coverage. This is what we need. And it's not like, oh, Rush Limbaugh is competing with us now. It's like, no, he's on the team. Like, I want these people at my back. You don't go into war with, with less soldiers thinking, I'm going to get the glory. No, you want as many people going in with you as possible. You want the biggest team possible so you don't die. <laughs> That's what this is. It's not, a, it's not like a competitive thing. And, and this, it's, just, it's just sad. Everybody wants to, thinks that they got to do whatever they got to do to be on Fox or to be the big guy. And we just sit here and we just bang heads right at the gates of the globalist, and we don't even know what's going on behind us. We just keep banging heads forward, and, and I like to look behind to see what's going on, and now I'm seeing it. Wow, people are coming up. People are coming up, they're getting it, and they're behind us now. Go ahead, take the lead. Fine, it'd be nice if someone would like to take the lead with some of this stuff, but they won't do it. Now, just, it's just, it's just, this is why you have to fund us. This is why InfoWars exists, and it's just incredible to see this happening, where, again, the GOP puts out an ad showing you how unhinged the left has become. We've been telling you the left is unhinged for a year. We've been showing you the clips of Maxine Waters for a year. Yeah, I'm glad the GOP is putting out videos like that. I don't look at that like, oh, now they're competing with us. Oh, their video gets more than the 10 different videos that Darren McBreen put together of all the leftist violence. It doesn't bother me. I, I love it. Good. Well done, young Veda. So that's just how I look at this. Now, I don't even remember where I wanted to go here. What video clip? Oh, okay. I know. I got it. All right. But before I go to Kamala Harris, <laughs> this woman, oh, boy. Just think about this. There's a couple things I noticed in the last 24 hours that I wanted to mention here. Let's start with Rosenstein. So, I, I went back and I watched the entire Rosenstein hearing and from, from two days. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out because this is how my mind works. I just want answers. Like, I want logic and reasoning and common sense here. And so I'm trying to figure this out. I'm like, okay, Rod Rosenstein, for, I mean, we're talking like six hours of testimony under oath, okay? You know how many questions the guy actually answered? None. I mean, none. 
And so I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, they, they, they request these documents. They keep asking for these documents. They are well within their right to do it. Congress is above the FBI. They should get the documents. These oversight committees are put there so that they can go in and, and, and retrieve documents and information and intel whenever they want to maintain the integrity of the FBI. And somehow the FBI now is above Congress. That's not right. But Rosenstein is, you know, he can't, oh, he says the same thing. We're seeking those documents. We're going to get you those documents. I've got a team of it. We're, we're going to get you the documents. You know? and, and, and Jim Jordan and Trey Gowdy and Devin Nunes and, and Ron DeSantis, and they're all just like, why won't you comply with rules and procedure? Why won't you give us these documents? Why won't you present your evidence? But, but more so, why won't you give us the documents we're requesting? So I'm trying to figure this out. What is going on here? Well, we all know they don't want the documents to be turned over that show when the spying began, who was running it, who knew who, who was colluding. We know they don't want that, but what, but what, but what is going on here? What is Rosenstein actually doing? Why is he telling these people, we'll get you the documents? Well, it's been over a year now. What takes you so long? I mean, if someone comes to me at work, I, I have to get documents all the time. I have to get legal documents. I mean, I'll be at home and someone will say, hey, I need to get that legal document and I'll do whatever I can right then to get them the document. Or, or, or some other journalist will call me like, hey, I heard you talking about this. Where did you find that story? What's the source? And I, and I talk to them and I get them the documents. So this is like not a difficult thing to turn over documents, right? I mean, pretty easy thing to do, pretty standard procedure to turn over documents. But somehow Rosenstein can't figure it out. He's got a whole team of people this is number two at the FBI. He doesn't even know what's going on at the FBI, according to his testimony under oath. He has no clue. He's trying to get the documents. He wants to get the documents. He's working on it. He's got a team. We're working on the documents. We'll find what is, what, what is he doing? What, what is he doing, number two at the FBI, if he has no idea what's going on at the FBI and he can't even get you the documents? Well, what, 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 what is Rosenstein doing? And then it hit me, and it's so obvious. They are in full-on cover your ass mode. Rosenstein is erasing all the documents. And then, oh my gosh, where is the story? Oh, it's here in the stack of news somewhere. I know it. The, the NSA magically, ladies and gentlemen, just had a massive, a massive loss of data. I, I can't find the story in my stack of news here. Oh, magically, the NSA has a huge loss of data. Yeah, I can't, of course I can't find the news story now. Maybe you guys can pull it up. It was on the Drudge Report earlier. Let's see if I can find this. Anyway, it, does that have to do with it? Here we go. NSA deletes scores of call records over technical irregularities. Oh, I'm sure. Right after the Rosenstein testimony. There's an NSA error with technical irregul irregularities. While they're pulling all the texts, they're pulling all the data, they're pulling all the emails, you've seen it, they're clearly colluding, they're clearly meddling in the election. Now they're going after the phone calls, Congress wants to hear what they're talking about, and the NSA magically deletes scores of call records. Magically. I wonder if any of those were Obama's calls. I'm just wondering, just a question. Just a question. I wonder if any of that deleted data by the NSA, I wonder if Rosenstein has anything to do with that. I'm just wondering. I don't know. One can just ask questions, right? What is Rosenstein doing over the course of a year while searching for documents but, but can't present them? He's seeking them. He's got a team. He said it under oath. He's seeking them. He has a team. Well, what's taking him so long? And, and then... Why does the NSA delete scores of call records over technical irregularities? Is there a connection here? Am I missing something? What are all these people covering for? What is Stroke covering for? What is Rosenstein covering for? What is Comey covering for? Hmm. Hmm. Usually there's someone sitting at the top of all this, and everyone's kind of covering up the, you know, the the... The Don, if you will, the head gangster, the guy responsible for making all the calls. Who, who could these people be protecting? Who's gone silent over the last year? Who's this? 
Could it be Obama? Could Obama be the one behind all of this? Obama who lied about Hillary Clinton's private illegal server? Could it be Obama? You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Support good oral health with our one-of-a-kind super blue fluoride-free products. InfoWars Life brings you a revolutionary toothpaste blend with iodine and nano silver designed to deliver a powerful clean. Enjoy a minty fresh flavor made with peppermint oil or try our bubblegum flavor. Pair this groundbreaking toothpaste with the super blue fluoride-free mouthwash and supercharge your oral health. Our amazing mouthwash features natural oils and ancient ingredients used since aboriginal and biblical times. Instead of containing fluoride, our super blue line is loaded with the good halogen iodine and an array of other beneficial compounds that have been hand selected for their oral health benefits. Super blue fluoride free mouthwash and toothpaste are the first and only to contain all of these natural ingredients. Xylitol, nano silver, and iodine. Notice the difference with our super blue fluoride free products. Refresh your breath and invigorate your oral health routine at InfoWarsStore.com. That's InfoWarsStore.com.